Welcome back trainers and with the start of the rocket event here are a few more Pokemon that you probably want to pursue or at least TM to get that frustration out of here and that is going to be Snorlax and Shadow Nidoqueen. You already know what it is. Now if you had to go for one of them, I mean <laughs> I hope you got a couple of extra TMs to spare but I think Snorlax is definitely prime. Now Nidoqueen is definitely going to be the queen of poison types that's for sure especially in the ultra league and in the great league master league it's just not where it's at because of the combat power right snorlax on the other hand is going to be good for every single league including the master league because it's just snorlax the thing is on point here so definitely make sure you do get yourself a good shadow snorlax if you haven't done so already going into this event we've already discussed the ones that are going to be released the one that is going to be most highlighted is going to be the shadow onyx into shadow steelix the thing is going to be an absolute monster now we have gotten a report that there is going to be shadow shiny sableye and shiny shadow machop as well so you can expect those at least those two for the rocket leaders there is more information coming out now, but I'll put out another video later down the line. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. If you want to support me or help me in any sort of way at all, hitting the like button is all you have to do, and it really is appreciated. So Nido Queen is going to go for another poison jab here, and uh, bringing in the Heracross and taking the win there. <laughs> if they ever do release Shadow Heracross, Shadow... Lucario even. Fighter Shadow is just a deadly thing in general. Alright, so we're met with an Obama Snow for the next battle, leading with the Snorlax the entire time here. Now we will be taking off the Shadow Nidoqueen and kind of periodically swapping that third Pokemon out because it was just getting a little bit rough. Okay. <laughs> this game, man, I tell you, it's something else. You don't see one Pokemon and then all of a sudden you swap it and you see it and I haven't seen you in a hundred battles. Where have you been, buddy? Until I put on the weakness. All right, so they're going to be bringing in a Charizard to take us out. Bringing in that Shadow Nidoqueen Queen here. Still holding on to two shields. And the Heracross doesn't want anything to do with that Charizard at all. Being a fighting and bug type. Yeah, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. I do believe they have a flying quick move, right? And they're going to be swapping into Gyarados. So we're still not in a great position here because, you know, counter's not doing much. But then again, that is a Shadow Gyarados. And we're doing damage with counter as if it was not resisted. As if it was just neutral damage. I mean, heck, because we did lower the defense. So we got, we got to think about that as well. Shielding up the Aqua Tail and almost building up to two of these Rock Blasts here. Oh, they got Fire Spin on that Charizard. I did uh, miscall that there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get to another Rock Blast. And Nido Queen. Oh, oh, they back. That's right. <laughs> okay, so when they did that, I was thinking to myself, you know, you could have maybe won that, buddy. You could have maybe won that. Next battle, we're met with an S Cavalier, and this is not a good lead at all whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Heracross. And they're bringing in a Venusaur, which is not going to be a good matchup for us, really. Sure, we resist the bug, but they resist the counter. They resist the fighting, which is counter. <laughs> I was thinking about the close combat. Rock Blast just tickling that Venusaur over there. While the Frenzy Planet is resisted, it's still going to be doing a lot of damage. And they're even baiting me. I gotta love that. Let's go. Alright, so we gotta pull this one around here. Hitting me with another Frenzy Plant. Resisting the quick move. But at this point, they could almost farm us down. Going for a Rock Blast. They let it go and we're able to counter them down. Okay, looking good. One shield to one shield. Bringing in a muck, and we're able to get to the close combat, which is not super effective because of the poison type, but it's still going to be doing a lot of damage. And that's all we really needed to do was get to that close combat there. Bringing in the Snorlax. So what we want to do here is, wow, we've got one shield left, which we need to hold on to for the Nidoqueen when they do go with a drill run up against us. So we need to make sure we do uh, hold on to that for a minute. Going for the superpower, taking out the Escavalier, swapping into the Nidoqueen immediately up against the Muck here. And looks like we're going to be able to pull this one off here. Letting the first Dark Pulse go, no problem at all. And we're going to be going for the Poison Fang here. Let's see if this is enough. And okay, of course, we're getting a shield. They're fighting to the very end here. They said, no, I will not go down without a fight. And sounds good to me. Using up our last shield and then farming them down with a not very effective poison jab. What are we going to be met with with our Snorlax this time? And Aggron. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, very interesting. So we do have the Heracross, which is going to love to see that thing. And we do have Superpower, which is essentially, I wouldn't say going to one-shot it, but it's going to do a lot. Maybe 
Well, actually, no, I don't think in a one-shot it'll do quite a bit of damage, bringing them into the red, I would think. Hitting me with Stone Edge and then retreating immediately, or bringing in Obstagoon. And we're going to go for that superpower to make sure they shield up, because I will one-shot their dark and normal type. Bringing in the Heracross, which is going to love to see this matchup here. So if they're going to have something weak... Okay, let's just... They got four times weak to fighting in the front, four times weak to fighting in the middle. They've got to have a counter to, to fighting in the back, right? They, they, they just got to. And it's uh, that Heracross, or the Agron, going for the close combat. They let it go. What's in the back? Oh, yeah, there it is. Trevenant resisting fighting. Okay. All right, very interesting team. Got a AVB line going on here, or should I say BBA? All right, the way it was presented. Bring it in Nidoquin. And we still have two shields. Swapping into Snorlax to maybe catch. That was a very unnecessary move. I didn't need to do that. I could have just kept continuing on with the Nidoqueen Queen here. But I decided to get a little fancy. And then I just got farmed down by Shadow Claw on my Snorlax. So good. That's what I get here. Going to go ahead and let this go. And going for the Poison Fang. And I'm not even hitting any bubbles. I think I have to go for a one more quick move. I don't know why I did that. And we're taking the win. Okay. Looking good. Next battle. We're going to be met with an Empoleon. Which is actually a good lead for us here. Because we do have superpower, it's so deadly, and they already know it. They're swapping into their own Heracross, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our Nidal Queen, which is going to completely wall it. Mega Horn, Brock Blast, uh, I was going to say superpower, close combat. Yeah, right, we're perfectly fine, so we're going to let that go. Even though Mega Horn's still doing quite a bit, we're able to farm them down before they get to their next charge move, which would have taken us out here, and we're able to have some energy to throw a Poison Fang, so yeah. This is going to be great. Going to go ahead and lower that defense. And we're getting a shield from them when going for the Poison Fang. They thought it was an Earth Power. Beautiful. So we're going to be doing even more with our counter here. Expecting them to swap right after this. And they're bringing in a Dragonite. And this is why Rock Blast is so good. Let's go. And we're going to be getting it. Connecting. Swapping into our Snorlax. Going for a Body Slam. Let's see what happens. Of course they're shielding it up. They got to at this point, right? And we still have one shield left. It's probably going to be within our interest to shield up this Dragon Claw. Yeah. Farm them down. Beautiful. And we're going to be able to go for a superpower on their Empoleon. But they back out before we can make that connection. Let's keep it moving here. Next battle. Met with a Needle Queen. There it is. But non-shadow. And that's a decent matchup. They're going to be swapping into Dragonite. And honestly, I uh, really should have swapped into our Needle Queen immediately here. So let's go. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and stay here for now. Okay. Let's go ahead and stay here. After they hit me, we're going to go ahead and swap into our Heracross. I'm trying to calculate this here. The Snorlax absorbs the charge move. We bring in the Heracross to absorb the next thing. We already know they're going to have superpowers, so they're just going to go straight for the Dragon Claw. It's not like they're, to, like they're going to hit us with a Draco Meteor or anything like that. Or an Outrage. So taking them out, they've used one shield. They don't want to use another one here. Getting to the close combat, which is not very effective, but it's still going to be doing a decent amount of damage here. And they're going to be able to farm us down, and that's a lot of energy on that Nidoqueen Queen here. We still got two shields left, bringing in the Snorlax, so we don't get Earth Powered, but they're hitting me with the Poison Fang, immediately swapping into Obstagoon, and I already saw how I was going to be able to win this matchup here. A little bit of energy on the Snorlax, and all we got to do is kind of make sure we maintain our health here, and then come out with a decent amount of energy so we can at least Earth Power the Nidoqueen. Queen. Was it a little bit low? Do we even need to Earth Power that thing anymore? I think we just need to like Poison Fang, or at least make them think we're going to, and then just Body Slam them with Snorlax. The only thing I'm thinking about at this point is I need to get that last shield. So this will be enough to take them out. Okay, we do have a decent amount of energy. So we're going to let this go, knowing it's definitely not an Earth Power. Right. And building it up. Oh, they backed out. Oh, come on. Okay, good game. Let's keep it moving. Next battle. What are we going to see here in that lead? It's going to be a, oh, Snorlax Mirror Match. Shadow versus Non-Shadow. Now, this matchup is uh, honestly very annoying. Okay. <laughs> You, you don't go for superpower right off the bat because what's going to happen there is, see, the lick is resisted, so you, you're not really thinking about that damage. Oh my goodness, the lick is going to take me out if I go for superpower. It's still going to be doing barely anything. So what's going to happen is you simply just lowered your attack and your defense, and then they're going to be able to do even more damage in return with their body slam and or superpower. So it's kind of this weird, awkward situation where you're both kind of body slamming down to a certain point like this is. Figure they're going to go for it right about now. There it is. Okay. And you don't even need to go for another superpower. You just go for the body slam at this point. Because that's simply enough. And they're taking that win. Although they did use a shield. We're going to be able to farm them down with the Heracross. Which is leaving us with two shields and them with one. And a lot of energy on the Heracross. Now they're going to have a counter to fighting. What is it going to be? A Trevenant. Okay. So it's up to you if you want to go with Mega Horn or Rock Blast. You definitely always want to go for close combat on your Heracross. 
Although you could opt to not because you do have counter technically you're already doing a lot of damage there. Swapping into Swampert and I'm going to tell you what folks, this thing was, you know what, I'm sick and tired of this freaking Pokemon. I'm going to be real. Niantic, you need to nerf this thing. What the frick is wrong with it? Like, I was trying to come up with some logical conclusions in my head here as I'm playing. I'm trying to think, what, 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 what compelled them to make Swampert such an OP Pokemon? You know, the first thing that came to my mind was, okay, well, it's four times weak to grass, you know, you, the thing just gets eliminated by grass. Is it because of that, that they're making it so spammy with the Hydro Cannon, or is it just because it's Swampert, or do they just want a Pokemon like this roaming around that's just extremely brain dead to use? I, I just don't understand. But here we are up against the Trevenant, countering this thing down, going for a Rock Blast at 1 HP and taking the win. 1 HP! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, next battle met with an Obstagoon. This is not a good lead here, so we're going to immediately swap into our Nidoqueen. We don't want to... Actually, you know, first we're going to go for Super Power. Hopefully they don't have Cross Shop and they're run, running Obstruct. Hey, <laughs> there's Obstruct. It doesn't matter if they raise their defense, this Super Power is still going to eliminate them. And they're shielding it up. We swap into Needle Queen here. And they're going to be retreating with a little bit of energy. And bringing in a counter, which is going to be Wall Rain. So we're going to go straight for the Earth Power. Since they've already used a shield, let's just do as much damage as we can here. We've got a Heracross in the back. They've got two Pokemon weak to fighting. So you can believe that they're going to have something to counter fighting in the back. What is it going to be, though? Bringing back that Obstagoon, so we still do not know what it is. So the Heracross may have a little bit of a hard time in the back. Unless we do get that last shield. And we've got one shield ourselves here, so eh. Not looking the best. Going for another Obstruct. While we do resist the counter, we're not going to be able to take us down like that. So we're just going to keep on lowering that defense with the Nidoqueen Queen here. I'm just going to do more damage, swapping into our Heracross, trying to maybe snipe them with all that health and that lower defense, and they're bringing in a Trevenant. Yet again, we're seeing a Trevenant defending Pokemon that are weak to fighting here. So uh, we got to call this. Are we going to call this correctly? Shadow Ball to the face. Down we go. Oh my goodness. Still have a Snorlax and they still have one shield. So do we. So this is getting a little bit risky. We know they can't go for Shadow Ball. So we're going to go ahead and let that Sea Bomb go while the Shadow Claw is really not doing too much. Nidoqueen's Queen's going to be able to handle that Obstagoon. As long as we can get this thing down here. Beautiful. They're going to be able to farm us up a bit. Can they? Oh, we immediately swap. I'm not letting you farm. Are you crazy? Bringing in that Nidoqueen to shield this up. No problem at all. And we're going to farm down with Poison Jab. Let's go. Moving it on to our next battle as our opponent is punching us here with his pose. We're going to be met with a Talon Flame. So Heracross doesn't want anything to do with that. We can do a lot of damage if we hit him with a Rock Blast. But that's granted we can even land it. Because everybody already knows you're going to get hit by a Rock Blast by Heracross most of the time, right? So we're going to let that go. Unfortunately, they're hitting me with a Brave Bird and then swapping into their Umbreon. Still two to two shields here. Let's see what we can do. All right. Heracross, please tell me you don't have Psychic on that. Last Resort. Fantastic. Okay. So building up a little bit more energy. As much as I wanted to go for Rock Blast and kind of just farm them down without lowering our defense, I figure it's going to be best to probably just take them out here and then just go for the Rock Blast and get a shield from them. But at this point, they're going to be able to farm us down with that Talon Flame. Down a shield. Can we get to one more Rock Blast? We do. I couldn't freaking believe it. It survives with one HP. Really? Literally, one HP. And we take the win there. Well, we don't take the win. Okay. I consider it a win. Getting both shields. Bringing in the Snorlax to make them throw their energy here. Nido Queen is just going to have to handle everything in the back. Hopefully there's not another, another damn Swampert. And they're getting to a charge move. We still have two shields, so we're going to go ahead and use it here. Finally, they have zero shields and they have an obstacle in the back. That's a wrap. That is a wrap. All right, so we're going to go for the Earth Power. Maybe should have went for Poison Fang than Earth Power, but eh. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Probably better strategy this way because they could have shielded up. Who knows? But nonetheless... Well, <laughs> shield it up. They have no more shields left. Who am I kidding here? Okay. So going for a Poison Fang, taking them out. <laughs> and then taking out that Talon Flame and taking the win in a situation that wasn't looking too great. Next battle met with a Gyarados here. Okay, this is a fine matchup. No problem at all. See, the thing about Snorlax is it's going to handle pretty much most things. I'm not going to say it's going to be able to counter everything. But it's going to be able to handle them comfortably to some degree. So long as it doesn't hit you with fighting. If it doesn't have a counter move or fighting or anything like that, you're going to be looking okay, right? So anyways, we're going to let that go and going to go for the body slam. At this point, I figure they're going to probably just shield this up and then farm us down. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, who's going to win though? Snorlax does. And we didn't even use a shield and we're able to get off a body slam too. Oh, yeah. All right. On the Swampert. There it is. Bringing in Heracross. We do resist the quick move as well as the Earthquake. Ground. Okay. Because we're a bug. 
So we're going to go ahead and shield this up just to preserve our health here. They've used one shield as well. Going to go for the Rock Blast because I don't want to really lower my defense at this point. Yep, we're going to be getting a shield. And we can still survive a Hydro Cannon and farm them down. I'm figuring they're going to probably swap right after this so we can't farm them down. And they're going to let me farm them down. Oh, or they're going to get to another one. There's your stinking Hydro Cannon spam with the... With the mud shot, man. I'm sick and tired of this crap. All right, so they have a Lapras in the back. This is great. Oh, yeah. Going for that close combat. And then we're going to be able to get to a Rock Blast in Heracross. The Lush is taking the win for us. I don't know why I keep on not hitting all those bubbles. But there we go. Taking that win. Great. Moving it on to our next battle. Met with a Dragonite. Now, typically, this is a loss. Okay? Especially because it has superpower now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You better believe it. It's even more of a loss. Most of the time, they don't go for it right off the bat. But they could. And if they do, it's going to be leaving you very low. And then they can just eliminate you with Dragon Breath or Dragon Tail, whatever they're rocking there. So we let the first Dragon Claw go. We've gotten a shield out of them. I think we're going to want to shield this up for sure and kind of put on the pressure. I think we do win this one, actually. Shadow Snorlax does a decent amount of damage with that uh, Stab Body Slam. Can we lick them down before they get to a charge move? Beautiful! Technically, you lose that. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, so we're going to go for a Body Slam because we want to make... Maybe they think that's a superpower. <laughs> That was some guts of steel right there. I'll tell you what. Just let that go. Oh, boy. All right. So we have to shield this up because a drill peck will take us out because of the fighting and bug. Extremely weak to flying. So we're going to farm them down. And they got one Pokemon in the back. And it's going to be a Heracross. Let's go. All right. So we're going to go for that Rock Blast right off the bat here. They're not shielding it up. Of course they're not. Going for another one. Now I expect them to shield this one up, right? Now we're going to go ahead and swap. Oh, we got Talonflame on the team. What's going on here? What the heck? Uh, <laughs> well, we just started getting hard countered. When you go 4-1 a couple of times, the game says, hey, 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 <laughs> excuse me, why are you winning so much here? We got to slow that down. Look at this suspicious crap. Look at, this is at a times two speed. So I was just sitting here, right? So this is times two. Oh, yeah. Why is it doing this right when they were about to lose? <laughs> and they get to a charge move. Bull crap. Oh my goodness, this game is so full of it, man. So many exploits. All right, taking them out. Let's go. Maybe they had it. Maybe they had all that energy. Maybe they uh, just, Poke, you don't know how to count. You don't know how to count, Poke. They, they you know, they had a thousand energy ready to go. Next, Dragonite. All right, another one of those. I wonder what's going on with those Dragonites back there. So we got Wall Rain, or not Wall, <laughs> Jellicent. <laughs> Towards the end, I was losing my mind. Tell you what, man. Tell you what. Going for a body slam here to take out this Dragonite. Not going to win this matchup. Yep, for shield. If we shield this up, it doesn't matter. We're just going to get farmed down. It's over. So we're going to let it go and bring in the Heracross to just farm them down. Since they did go for that super power flex or whatever the hell that was at the end there. And they have a Swampert. There it is. Going to go for the close combat to do a bunch of damage. Or they can use their last shield and swap into our Jellicent here. What do you got in the back? An Obstagoon. Okay, so that's going to be super effective to us. Although with Jellicent, you can continuously lower the attack. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So we're going to let this go. There's no need to use a shield at this point. No need at all. We got that Heracross in the back. We already know what's going to happen here. We just keep on lowering that defense. And then we'll just swap into their into the Heracross when we can. And uh, looking pretty good here. Yeah, Night Slash is super effective. But that's the thing about Jellicent. Pretty tanky. And then when you continuously spamly go for the Bubble Beam and lower their attack, it's just in this weird, awkward position where the clock is just counting down more and more. And you're just prolonging the battle even more it could also be used as a strategy to kind of wear out that clock right so simply shielding this up because the obstacle is going to have anything that's going to be doing any damage towards us whatsoever and this damn thing has another hydro cannon ready to go so we shield it up all right <laughs> that's a wrap and we just simply counter down this heracrot or obstagoon and take the win all right next battle snorlax lead of course and met with an electoros so this trainer gets automatic points and respect for being spicy here. So we'll have to see what they have in the back. Going for a Dragon Claw and swapping into... Uh, I didn't see what that was. What did they just swap into? A Toxicroak. Okay, great. Bringing in our Jealous in here and... Okay. Yeah, Mud Bomb's neutral. They go for Sludge Bomb. Okay. Hey, the uh, Ghost resists it. So, you know, be my guest. 
I think Mud Bomb would have been a better bet to go with. But hey, you do what you gotta do here. And at this point, it's almost just worth farming down. Simple as that. We're just gonna farm them down. They go for, oh, because they have Dynamic Punch. Okay, well, hey, there we go. My lips are sealed. Yeah, you proved me wrong there. Or at least showed me what moves you have. Bringing in the Electros, shielding up the Bubble Beam, which couldn't be better. Now we're gonna go straight for the Shadow Ball here. And we're getting another shield. Okay. Swapping into our Snorlax because I was thinking, okay, well, if they're trying to defend this uh, Electros with all they can, with all their shields here, something's got to weak, be weak to it in the back. So we're going to go ahead and retreat and keep it alive. Bring it in the Snorlax and they're going to be able to take us out here. That's no problem at all. We're going to go ahead and just easily let it go. And it's not able to take us out. They're farming more. And now we'll bring in the Heracross. But this dang Electros getting to another stinking charge move. Spammy as heck. And they have an Empoleon in the back. And that's about a wrap, folks. Yeah, that, that's a wrap right here. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for new turn notifications on. Really appreciate the support. And I'll be catching you on my next video. Take care. sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and i don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is going to hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. Touch the deck. This is the best.